right, Shalom, Shalom, Kahalo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechav Badash. Peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, true teachers of all Israel. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm in transit on my way to the health food store, you know, trying to uh, put the right things, you know, you know, to the best of my ability in my body. After this, uh, you know, day of atonement, it's like a new slate. You know, it feels like a uh, like a reset button in a lot of ways. And uh, something beautiful I wanted to share with you, Akim, and uh, the sisters out there that listen and learn, the brothers and sisters out there that listen and learn. Uh, after the day of atonement, after the sun went down, I was in the room with my son. Uh, you know, kind of getting ready to getting ready for bed. It was a little while after sun, the sun had went down, right? And, um, you know, the scriptures was on the bed, and my son, he caught and started talking about the Bible. Uh, he, you know, he, he's only two, so he can he can only say so much. He, he's talking about, you know, he can't mention Bible, Bible. And then um, he knows that I refer to the Bible as the scriptures. So he said... Uh, in the scriptures, in the scriptures, Yahweh Shai in the scriptures. So he knows the name Yahweh Shai because obviously, you know, he hears me saying it. And I'm always telling him about Yahweh Shai. And then, and then he said Yahweh Shai coming, Yahweh Shai coming. So that was a super spiritual sign. It was something simple, but yet to me, um, it was a faith booster, man. And the scriptures talk about my hands will cover thee that thy children shall not see hell. You know, so, hey man, and the scriptures also taught that all uh, uh, the scriptures uh, speak upon that all of our children will be taught of the Lord. So they're gonna, all of our children are gonna be per perfected as well. For you brothers out there that have sons and daughters, if we get delivered, if we're a part of that number, then that means that our sons and our daughters will come with us, man. You know, so that's why it's even more important for us to do this work and be sincere and be diligent. All right. Because through the preaching of this word, through us putting forth the sacrifice, is the salvation of not only ourselves, but also our entire families, man. And the one third that takes heed. All right? So there's a lot, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of blood on our hands if we don't do this. The scriptures talk about be thou a watchman unto the house of Israel. I was just reading Ezekiel, which is, Ezekiel is a super heavy book, man. One of my favorites. All right, and there's a lot of judgment in that book. Okay, and Ezekiel had to go and, and warn his people, and that was the process of him, what? Getting the blood off of his hands, man. All right, but in the kingdom to come, we're not going to have to teach our people. They're going to come out perfect. From the womb, our people, the Israelites, all right, starting with the 144,000 and the elect, all right, our, our children in the kingdom, Lord's will we endure and be a part of that number. If we partake in this first dominion, our children are going to be perfect. Our sons and our daughters are going to come out perfect. They're going to come out praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're going to come out immortal. Okay? So we're dealing with an everlasting legacy here, man. You got simple-minded niggas that's talking about, oh, I want to, you know, I got a family. I got to take the jab because of this and that. You don't give a damn about your family, man. You don't give a damn about yourself or your family, man, with that bullshit, wicked mindset, man. Okay? Because if you gave a damn about your family, you would want to preserve your health. You know, let's say on a carnal level, on a, on a worldly level that they think upon, right? Wouldn't you want to preserve your health? Talking about my family, what 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 good is your what a good is your family gonna be with you dead after you take the jab? You know, but then again, it goes back to this, the gift of faith not being given to all men. The scriptures say not all men have faith. All right, roughly paraphrasing it, but. Yeah, man, these uh, these people, they and their children are going to perish, the two-thirds, man. Because they made their treasures upon earth where moth and rust stuff corrupt. But our treasures are in heaven, man. And even my son, who's only two, he just turned two uh, a few months ago. So he's freshly two, pretty much. And and uh, even he knows to call upon the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. But that's, that's a beautiful thing. That's from the Lord, man. And um, 
that's a, that's part of us showing a good example, man. When you go into the book of Tobit, uh, that's, that's, that book has been on my mind a lot through the spirit, um, meditating on the scriptures and that that, that situation because it's a beautiful story. It's one of my favorite books. Matter of fact, um, to, Tobit, the father of Tobias, man, he was a he was a righteous man of the Lord, and his son after him by taking heed to his father's words, he ended up being blessed. All right. So imagine for us putting forth this sacrifice through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah, even our children are going to be blessed, man. You know, even our seeds will be blessed. Okay, and our and our seeds seed, and, and it goes on till eternity, man. This is going to be a whole different way of life that we enter into, man. No more flesh. Imagine what it would be like to be alive but not be in the flesh. You know and and still enjoy the pleasures of living on the earth this is this is about to be man astronomical far beyond what anything that 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 we could even imagine man even our minds our imaginations can't you know we can and there's nothing wrong with thinking about it we all meditate on the kingdom and you know we, we teach about it and how it will be and so on and so forth but even with all the words and lessons, it's not going to add up to actually living it, man. Experiencing it. I was just watching an elder from Dallas. Um, his, his page is GMS in Rome, Lions on Fire. Um, I forget the elder's name, so so lucky for that. But uh, he puts up those beautiful lessons, man. It's heavy spiritual lessons. And it's always perfect timing. You know, it's always through the spirit. And he did a lesson on the new earth. He had a dream uh, during the Day of Atonement about the new earth. You know, a new heaven and a new earth. That's what we're getting ready to enter into, man. These these things that are written, the prophecies, man. Yes, there is there is death, destruction, mass death, and it, it is necessary because these people are wicked. All right. The majority of the people you see on the earth right now, they're not going to partake in the in the new heavens and the new earth. Think about and during the time of Noah, when the Lord brought that flood, is this not known as the second death? Are you talking about billions of people getting put to death, man? Billions. Okay? And it's going to be a small fraction, and even amongst the other heathen nations, he's going to leave a remnant of them. Okay? Because the scriptures talk about that there's no end to, to the nations. All right? But this is going to be mass death, and it needs to be clean. But once that's, once that's said and done, and that judgment sits... And America, Babylon the Great is, is uh, burnt with uh, the ICBMs, thermonuclear destruction. And once um, the Lord Yahweh comes back, all right, and gets his vengeance and avenges his people, then we're going to be able to enjoy life, man. This ain't life. No matter what we do in this world, man, no matter what kind of, you can have this amount of money, whatever, it's still a defiled, corrupted world, man. And we need salvation. All the money in the world can't buy you eternal life, man. All the money in the world, all the gold, all the sapphire, ruby, all of that, all those carnal riches can't buy you eternal life. It's a gift that has to be given, man, and it's by election. All right? You know what? I got my sword right here. I'll just go ahead and read this. The scriptures say that it is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. He wants us to have this, but he also wants us to appreciate it and um, to, um, yep, to appreciate it and to um, go through adversity to receive it. Yep, this is uh, Colossians 3 and 12. Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh by Shem Shai, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness. Yep, humbleness of, let me read that again, Colossians 3 and 12, put on therefore as the elect of the most high, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. All right, these are all attributes, all right, humility, having mercy into the brotherhood, all right, humbleness, meekness, long suffering, these are all attrib attributes of the elect, all right, because as those precious stones of the temple, uh, that's what the elect brothers represent. The hopeful elect brothers represent 1 Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, 
a peculiar people that ye should shoot forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You see, this is a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. This is what we're partaking in, brothers. So this is a this is the highest blessing upon earth, man. And I thank you, Howard by Shimmy Howard Shah, for putting the spirit on us to keep this day of atonement, man, because I feel like I and I know y'all brothers could relate. We needed that. <laughs> you know, I know I can say for myself, I hundred percent needed that, man. You know? I can't thank the Lord enough for putting the spirit on us to do that, man, because it's good for us to put away the flesh in this wicked world, man, and to remain spiritual. All right. Okay, so that's that royal generation. We've been called out of darkness into light. All right, so us, our wives, our seeds are all going to praise the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai for eternity and be blessed beyond measure, man. Told with the 13th chapter goes into it, man. All right, our kingdom is going to be built up with precious stones and, you know, all of the wealth in the world is not going to amount to what, to a fraction of what one brother in the kingdom has, man. But it all begins with the true riches, which is this knowledge of wisdom and understanding. All the fancy, glittery stuff, we're going to have that too, you know? We're going we're gonna to be straight balling out of control, man. But it starts with this humility process, all right? And then we can drink that that uh, that that new wine with your Howard shot, man. Imagine how that wine is going to taste. We don't even know what real real wine is, man. You know, we've had, we've had, you know, we get the best we can on this side, but imagine that. We got to really start to, you know, to be, to begin, and we already have, but to, to focus a lot more on this kingdom and to, uh, you know, to, to be balanced when we speak, to not only mention the destruction, but also there's, there's life everlasting beyond that, man. All right. But we are prophets, so we're supposed to focus on prophecy, man. All right. And the things that are happening upon the earth is death, destruction, famine, plagues. All right. But beyond that, because we have to teach the whole gospel, right? We can't hold back anything. Beyond that is eternal life, man, an everlasting kingdom. All right? And you know what? I'll close out with that in Daniel 7. I'm over here. at the. I just pulled up to the health food store. So I'm about to get some, uh, maybe like a smoothie. You know, I, I, I can make a, I usually do make smoothies at home to save bread, but I had to uh, be out and I'm actually about to hit this camp. So I know a little spot around where I, where I teach. So I figured, let me grab something. But this is Daniel 7 and 13. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with with the clouds of heaven. We're talking about them chariots. All right. Ezekiel, the first chapter, Ezekiel, that book period goes a lot into the chariots, man. The angels. OK, and it says, uh, um, yep. With the clouds of heaven, it came to the ancient of days, which is the heavenly father, Yahweh. And they brought him near before him and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and languages should serve him with a rod of iron. Right. That's how that's how Yahweh Shai is going to rule. And we pray and hope that we're joint heirs with him. And it says his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. All right. So this is the everlasting kingdom that's coming and it's far beyond our imaginations, man. Now, wildest dreams is not even going to be a fraction of what the real kingdom to experience it, to live it, to have immortality, to just be able to take flight, to never get tired, to never fear about ailments. And, uh, you know, because Jake, we love to eat, man. We like to eat good. But with this defiled kingdom, you can't really, you know, you got to be, you got to watch. We got to watch what we eat. We have to be more health conscious in the kingdom. We're going to be immortal. So that ain't going to be an issue at all, man. So our whole perspective is about to change, man. All right. But it starts with us. Um, it starts with us, you know, giving ourselves as a living sacrifice. So hey, with that, call halal yamla, yahawo, by Hashem, yahawo shai, by Hashem, mechak, All right. Shalom, wa baraka, to the hopeful elect. Lord's will I catch y'all on this live. I'm not sure if my main channel's up, but uh, I'm going to try uploading this video to it. And if it uploads, then I know that I'm good to go for the camp. All right. So hey, yahawo, by Hashem, yahawo shai, by Hashem, mechak, to the hopeful elect, Shalom.